What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wanda Medistan, and welcome back to some King Koi. I have no idea what this episode. I have no idea what episode this is. I've been gone for uh, <clears throat> more than two weeks. Oops, sorry. Um, well needed break, as always. A break never hurts, I think. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, let me tell y'all some. So I went to Mexico, right? And it was cold and all. I had a great time. I got back from Mexico on the tenth, as I said I was. At some point, I think I did say. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, and then I went to Sacramento. And then, you know, yesterday would be the what the 14th on a Sunday. I woke up at 3 a.m. to drive home because I live about seven hours away from Sacramento. And uh, <laughs> I wake up to three tires slashed out of four. I was like, bro, you might as well get the job done and do all four. Like, what the freak? Just three? That is so depressing. Who even likes the number three? Like, three? Three? <laughs> <laughs> three tires uh so uh, i ended up getting home kind of late uh, that was fun but i just thought i should share that because i was in sacramento and got my tires last that was really fun anyways <clears throat> i'm glad to be back i missed you guys anyways uh i have anything important to say no not really just tire slashing and that's not really important but i just thought y'all should know if you're in sacramento be careful um no not just sacramento anywhere but it's just i thought it was crazy because I have never been in a situation like that where I had fear of my property being damaged. In this case, my car. Tires gone. <laughs> that was pretty wild. So yeah, it was 3 a.m. and I did not sleep well. So I wasn't even mad that the tires were slashed. I was mad because I woke up early for nothing. I was like, bro, I can't even drive. Like, I gotta wait till 8 o'clock until hopefully a tire shop is open. I'm not even mad about the tires. I'm mad that I had to wake up early and didn't even do anything. I just had to go back to bed. It ruined my slumber, man. It was so bad. Before I forget, I have something to say. If you have not seen the previous episode, which you had almost probably a month now to watch. I don't know what the hell was wrong with you. Go watch that right now and hit that like. Hit it three times. Make five YouTube videos and hit like just for not watching it already. If you have it, you know, if, if you did, then you're good. But you should totally make some fake accounts and still like and subscribe because that'll help me out a lot and my self-esteem. Also, another thing that I want to say, <clears throat> before I left the Mexico, I made a video and uploaded it on the second channel, Vitamin D, which, by the way, if you haven't heard, if you did not see the, the Yap episode, I basically talked about how I made a second channel where I'll be focusing on horror games and any other game I'll be playing, like Spider-Man and any game I want to play, whatever game you want to see. And on this channel, Vitamin D Stain, you'll see the anime without the porn because we'll get in trouble just like I almost did. I mean, I did on episode, what, what was it, 10? Episode, no, not episode 10, probably 15 or 16. I don't know, somewhere about Sylvie's Root where basically we auto like railed the princess. Um, if you're 18... I'm sure the video will sh show up for you. And if you're not 18, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Good. Don't watch it. There's so many things that you should probably not know. And it's best you don't know. Uh, but anything I want to say. Basically, go hit up Vitamin D. Go watch the Spooderman video if you didn't. Please. Subscribe too now that you're at it. But check it out if you're interested. And if you're not, cool, I don't care. <clears throat> Let's get started, shall we? Getting these silver leverage emblems? Wait, Rhea, shut up. You're loud. One second. I forgot how to use my keyboard. Ah, there we go. About 10 or so we made our... I bought 10 or so since we made our agreement, but haven't seen a silver one yet either. Putting the phone on do not disturb because... Jesus Christ. I swear I never get notifications, but as soon as I start recording, mm, 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 I'm like, SHUT UP! Yeah, I get it. They still do it. It's proof as the two of us own, owning to each. <sighs> when all was said and done, the four of us got along quite well. Me and Jogosaki, Rhea and Reina, though there was some awkwardness present in these combinations, I was thinking this may be the last episode of the Reino route, and if not, maybe the next one, and if not, maybe the next one, I don't know, but I think it's gonna end soon, after the threesome, you know, and uh, not being a dad. Anyways. I'm gonna say one more thing. I know, shut up, Reid. Shut up, and hear me out. Uh, what was I gonna say? I already forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, I was gonna say I love Reyna, but I'm actually quite ready for her route to be over. I'm kind of like over it, to be honest. And it's not for bad reason. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking. She brought up the subject of Christmas tomorrow. Ria shook her head. Why did she say it like that? Did you have a job? She sounded bothered and ended the conversation. Sure well. We'd hear we'd heard bits and pieces about the scale of the party, but Reyna sounded especially excited for the food. Also, celebrity is supposed to perform there or something? I don't really care about celebrities though, so I'm fine on that front. That'd be great! I'd be happy if she did. Rhea, why are you smirking? Yeah. <laughs> Something on your mind? Rhea had been acting awfully grumpy but seemed oddly amused by that Maria Bishop comment for some reason. Really? I don't think we're getting along well enough. Ah, that was right. I'd asked for her advice on a relationship. I've apparently got a talent for it, like you said. And so did Reyna. Rio was as sarcastic as ever. However, she was smiling with delight. That's great. Perfect. Yeah, the, the, the rue is almost over. On what basis? Well, the Christmas thing. You know, on the previous rue, it ended on a Christmas thing. So I'm assuming it'll be the same here. December 24th, Christmas Eve. Oh, already? Oh, this episode is going to be short. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm going to start the rue. Obviously. I'm really not looking forward to the Akane route though. She's just, she's a sister more than anything, you know? Sister, not a fister. That's not a one you need a fist. You don't sister fister. You're, you don't fist her, you don't fist her, your sister, because that's your sister, you know? You know what I'm saying? Could we expect a white Christmas this year? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the odds were high given how the sky looked. This region didn't get much snow, so it was considerably rare for the snow on Christmas. I find it funny that stop talking, read, yeah, blah, blah. You know, no one has told me to stop talking and read, so I'm assuming that's a good sign. But what I wanted to say was, I've seen a few, you know, romance, anime, or manga stuff, or in this case, visual novels, and it always ends like on a white Christmas, and oh, it's so much more romantic. But why is it that whenever every single one i've come across it's always been a white christmas like give me a black christmas what, what's so good about white sounds kind of racist this region didn't get much snow so it's considerably rare for the snow on christmas you sure do love snow talk about polar opposites i did enjoy it to some degree but a part of me felt annoyed at the idea of it piling up it sounded like a grumpy old man didn't i no, that's valid. I wouldn't want to shovel up snow in my area. Good thing it's hot as heck here. Oh well, it was to be expected that I couldn't work up any excitement today. It wasn't serious enough to talk about, but... I was waiting on Reyna's test results and it was weighing heavily on my mind? Wait, I thought... Did we not find out that she's not pregnant? Wait. Oh wait, they did bone each other again. Maybe she's checking again. I, I respect that. Nothing wrong with being safe. Hey. Did it go okay? I don't like this build up. What's going on? She's messing with us. It's Reyna. Reyna pet her abdomen. I'm hungry. She's... I, I really hope it's that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Ayaka. I appreciate that. Nah, you walked in with that serious look on your face and I thought, ah, she's pulling the same stuff as last week, too. 
ノリワリカヨ。Her results were negative even on the two week checkup. Are we in the clear now? Genda Igaku dea kyuju kyu ten kyu percent. Insay dat the dog just say yes or no. Harete ano san pi wa san ni no tano simikai dat tat te koto ni nari mashta to. Oh, heck yeah, threesomes. I think if everybody had threesomes, we'd all be a little happier. This was a load of my mind. <laughs> I see what you did there. Load. I'm not. Heck yeah. More threesomes, less babies. <laughs> She's funny. Hey, Reina. That's not funny. We were supposed to treat that like it never happened. I'd be fine with it, but Jogasaki's gonna be pissed. You want something in your butt? Jogasaki? Oh, I see, playing hard to get. I know that, you didn't need to yell at me. What was with that awkwardly long pause just now? No, she was considering it, that's all. Uh, nice, nice. Jogasaki ran off. I would have been ready to joke about it since the day of. I don't know what you mean. Not like we could force her. We tried to laugh the whole thing off, but she always had this super serious and beat red look on her face whenever the topic came up. Probably just a matter of her disposition, and there was no helping that. Absolutely. We could conclude that after that long pause. Ain't no way she wasn't considering it. No chance in heck. It's Jogasaki. <laughs> There's no way Reina believes that. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah. God dang. Any women out there experience these kinds of symptoms? If so, let me know in the comment section below. I would like to hear about it. I would like to interview you, matter of fact. <laughs> God dang. Imagine oozing. Doesn't sound healthy. We need to be on standby until. Five o'clock. The day was still young and we had quite a bit of time left until Sylvie's party later tonight. Yeah, with no other options, we decided to hang out and watch another movie together. <sighs> Pretty chilly today, huh? <laughs> Return to the future. There's also Star Warfare, the other one where they go on a journey to throw away a ring. Star Warfare? Not really, but they wrap up the story nicely. I got bored with Pori Hatter by the fourth movie. Pa Pori Hatter. Sorry, I need to go back. He said what? He should have just said Potty Hatter, honestly. Pori Hatter by the fourth movie? That is so uncreative. Oh, sorry, Reina, can you say that one more time? Let's hear it one more time. Sorry, guys. What's her favorite movie? Oh, Professionally mainstream, huh? Was it was a leisurely time. Is this a conversation to have on Christmas? God dang, I was about to say without the chill, but I guess that works too. Well, yeah. Reina cuddled up to me. Her biddies against my arm felt wonderful. When? Mm, felt like you had a lot of nipples. Ah. <laughs> hmm? She removed the item from her biddy pocket. Pills? What are those for? That was unexpected. Did you get these from the doctor? うん。なんかね、食後30分以内に服用し、その1時間後を目安に交渉を開始しましょう。だって、こういうのって直前に飲んで、さあ来いってイメージだったけど、使い方はちゃんとしてるんだね。Medicine is medicine after all. So, why? The reason she'd gotten these pills. It wasn't as if I couldn't piece it together if I thought it through. I'm fine with using 
PP gloves. I like that better. Yeah, I know, but... I'm going to be very small and bashful. Ah, yes, it does not feel the same. You want to do it without one, too? That's right, I don't have any memories of the time. That really put me on the spot. Perhaps it wouldn't be in our best interest to use a condom, as they were supposed to be nearly as effective as birth control pills. Not only that, but the idea of Reina taking a pill kind of bothers me. Yeah, pills are. But if we could do it without a pee pee glove. If it's only once, it might be nice. It wouldn't be wise to blindly trust the effectiveness of her birth control pills. It wouldn't be unfortunate if we didn't take advantage of the opportunity if it presented itself, though. This was part of being balanced, wasn't it? Yeah, sir. An embarrassed smile crossed Raina's face. What do you want to have for lunch? It was a little after 11 in the morning. It was still a little early, but if she needed to take medicine with a meal, then it made sense why she'd want an early lunch. <laughs> Raina grinned from ear to ear. That was when. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got a knock. Huh? Yeah, you better excuse yourself or they'll freak out of here. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, hold up, hold up. Akane chan. We moved apart when we realized our cuddling had been too much for her to bear. Were you all over her biddies or what? God dang. After we discreetly hid Reina's birth control pills. Are you sure? Discreetly? Akane chan had effectively shut us down when we were about to get busy, though. Huh? Alright, I feel like there was weirdos all over the school, for some reason. Probably. Yeah, Akane chan. Tell the boarders to be careful. Hi. We neglected to mention it ahead of time, but we'd run into a similar issue on an entirely separate occasion. It was a shock that they would show up at this time of day and in broad daylight. Oh well. Should make it easy to identify them. Okay. A knife. I readied my equipment just in case. Nah, you need that. Gat. No, that's not the. That, oh my god, that's not the proper. It's, it's the gat. Right, the, the the pew pew, the pew pew. I readied my equipment just in case. This dorm was security conscious, so there were alarms you could press directly linked to the police. Ah, don't you just love America? God bless America. This dorm was security conscious, so there were alarms you could press directly linked to the police, among other security items. Arms, I, I was about to say arms. I think I did. Items. Assuming I would call the cops later, I got some personal security items. A small air horn and pepper spray. Together in the event, I needed them. I scoped out the outside. You two stay inside. What are you doing, Akane? Get out of here. Rena and Akane-chan, who were carrying a can of mace and a mop respectively, followed after me. I didn't want to put them in danger, but I wasn't exactly the fighting type myself, and it helped to have others with me who are armed. We headed to the other side of the dorm. Oh yeah. Just to cover our bases completely, I grabbed my cell phone. Went from behind the dome to somewhere even more open. Okay, this is really weird. Hi. I called Alessan. We'd be all set if Alessan were here to fight them off. Either way, she offered to take a look into possible suspects and could have some vital information for us. When I asked, Have you figured anything out? Who were they? All of a sudden, a nearby bush rustled. Three men suddenly appeared. Oh! <gasps> That 
dog. Huh? Of course, it had to be the baseball goons. They were my acquaintances from the baseball club. God dang, it's kind of turned into a huge mess. Oh well. Oh, Heather, thanks for telling us sooner. Freaking moron. Feeling any better now? Yeah, the trust passed on private property, so it's fine. If you ask me, I think it did its job and it'd be more effective if it went expired. I mean, what the heck is expired mace? Wait, pepper spray? Okay, that might be different. Pepper spray, like, what does. Oh, wait. The expiration date might make it less effective. Never mind. I'm so goofy. <laughs> this whole thing was a disaster. But three suspicious characters turned out to be my former teammates from the baseball club. We passed by each other previously and it eventually turned into a small tussle. They were the three athletes from Hamanan. What were you guys doing here? Safe to assume that they were here for me. They'd seen me heading toward Noble Academy before and they likely heard something about my roommate from Torio. What I didn't know was why they came. Can you see what I mean? See what I mean? It starts going off when I record. What I didn't know was why they came. They hated me and I couldn't deny that the feeling was mutual. This is why it was best that we had no involvement with each other. That was the unspoken agreement I'd left behind. According to Reyna, these degenerates had been popping up now and again all over campus for the last week. That meant they weren't just screwing around. Hopefully they had a good reason for trespassing. もっと早く会いたかったんだけど。まずお前がノーブル学園なんて通ってるってのが信じられなくてさ。しかも冬休み入っちゃったし。あ、I <笑> I more or less understood the situation now. I kinda get it, but why did you come here? Hmm? Torio? Heard about what? I knew he'd been through a lot in and out of a slump anyway. America Oh huh? That I didn't know. Nor had I seen it coming. America no ま、メジャーだろうな。どっかのチームの代理人が交渉しに来たんだって。ああ。知らなかったみたいだな。ほら。やっぱダメじゃん、市松。引かされてもいないよ。they assume I was already in the loop and grimaced when our conversation hadn't planned panned out as well as they'd hoped. My mind went blank when he clammed up, so our discussion came to a momentary standstill, but Lucky for us, we had Akane-chan and Reina here. I probably would have ended the conversation if it were me, but I bet they were reluctant to cut it short now that a pair of adorable women had chimed in. And so, they continued. Yeah. 
Pro baseball teams from around the world and throughout Japan had their sights set on Toryo all last year. This year was a slump, but I was going to be a little bit more than a little bit of 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 a little bit So, what about it? If you wanted me to beg him not to leave, then you count me out. From their perspective, losing Torio would be the same as missing out on next year's tournament. I knew they'd be in hot water if they let him go. Either way, it was none of my business. Torio's opinion was more important to me than whatever these guys wanted. Crushing their adolescence for a second time was somewhat heartbreaking, though. Or so I thought. シマ君断っちゃったんだそれうちを辞めると思ってたんだけど続けるってはあ Oh now I get it I'd heard rumors of Torio quitting the team but he personally refuted those claims So what was So that was what was going on はあなんで断るのアメリカ行くのって野球やってれば一番の目標なんでしょ知らないよ英語が喋れないとか不安とかそういうことかもしれないけど俺たちに気を使ってか All three of them gazed downward だから一末なら知ってるかもって思ってきたんだけどああ、ボルビーディストゥーム They stared at me bitterly What the heck? Yeah, we were childhood friends but I obviously didn't know everything about him Oh well, never mind that There were bigger fish to fry <gasps> right, right, my bad. Ignoring that for a second, but what did you mean when you said it was the opposite? <laughs> Were you hoping I'd tell them to go? That was the simplest conclusion to reach. Although it meant these guys would be giving up on next year's tournament. <sighs> All three nodded their heads. Shimakun <laughs> Dang, what good homies he has. That was an exceptionally self sacrificing decision they made. You probably already noticed, but you won't get it very far next year without him. You've got a snowball's chance in heck of making it a nationals now. They seem to understand the gravity. Gravity, gravity, gravy of the situation. <laughs> you want Torio to go regardless? Hold out? <笑>監督がもう切れちゃってるんだよ夏の成績のせいで球が安定しないのは練習が足りないからだって毎日島君に投げ込みばっかり命じてる島君はあの通りだから毎日それに付き合って他の練習ほとんどなしでピッチングば
They were essentially fragile, disposable commodities playing a game of chicken. chicken. This was the reason starting pitchers could only pitch once a week. It was, of course, normal for them to keep their number of pitches in check during practice, though. How many pitches was he up to? That's crazy. <laughs> it all made sense now. That was why they felt the need to step in and broke the unspoken rule that athletes were off limits when they were still students. お前からも言ってやってくれ。メジャーも厳しいは厳しいだろうけど、浜南にルリアマシな uh, I didn't want to deal with this anymore either. Let me see what he. Uh, 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 let me see what he has to say at least. We were only going to talk, and I wasn't promising I'd be able to persuade him. He smiled at me. He kind of looked like everything had been resolved. Man, they were dumping all of this on me. Oh well, I need to hear him out at the very least. I could do that much for them. You better not hold it against me if you don't get to the Nationals for the second year in a row. Y'all suck. <laughs> the brilliant smiles never wavered. They knew it was pointless to pin their loss on anyone other than themselves. With that, it was clear I was the only one who had lost something after being driven off the team. Well, no sense worrying about it at this point. Bro, y'all still asking that? In a completely cheerful shift of tone, they brought up my current living situation. It was kind of crazy, but dropping out of Hamanan was the best thing that ever happened to me. I got an adorable girlfriend out of it, too. Hey, yo, careful there. Careful, careful, careful. Slutty. Mm. Mm. <laughs> careful. Rio's just a friend. Don't call her slutty. Yeah, freaking beat him up, dude. Ex, nah, bro. Get out of here. Ugh. Trust me, you're not her type. <laughs> Bit of a superiority complex. Yurosaki must have noticed we were at a good stopping point and came down from the second floor. Oh, if one of you guys knew. Oh, sorry. Upon closer inspection, I noticed several girls peeking their heads out of the rooms from the second and third floors. And they looked far too scared to come downstairs with the guys around. What does that even mean? We're done anyway. They were just sleeping. Oh, oh, oh. Yosaku is being prickly for the first time in ages. It's time to bone. Now that she'd said her piece, she started to head back to the second floor. Thanks, Jogasaki. When? Ah, Jogasaki. Hold on a sec. You've got lint on your butt. <laughs> Tug. Dog. Whoa, he said. Jogosaki jumped up in surprise when I gently plucked some rubbish off her clothes and her knees nearly gave up from under. I quickly cut her. Oh my god. And really, what are you doing? You could have just told him, my guy. You okay? And him acting like a chat afterwards, like, no. No, I do not approve of this behavior.
I returned her to a normal upright position. Nothing particularly noteworthy otherwise. <laughs> Y'all finally catching on? Huh? Just then. Uh oh. Someone I hadn't seen in some time entered the door. Yeah, it really has been a while, huh? <laughs> I guess she had to come to pick me up for the party. Aren't you a little early? Nice. She seemed awfully hyped about hanging out after being part of the last being apart for the last week. <laughs> Why all these women popping out out of nowhere? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I did finish cleaning. Oh, look how kind of you, Mina. Oh, yeah. PP glove, PP glove, PP glove. That's what you wanted to say, not condom. The son whispered to me. Why did she DNA test it? Oh my god, she's so extra. Oh, th that was an accident. <laughs> it was an accident. Please don't be mad at us. Oh my god. Keep your voice down. Make sure the others don't hear you. <laughs> what the heck, dude? It looked like they had overheard. You're blowing this way out of proportion. She can't be that stupid. That's a bizarre way of putting it. <laughs> this is too funny. But be well. <laughs> yeah. I saw the three of them all. Nice. There's no way I'd ever be popular, though. Yeah. We're else quite a bit. まあ、1月に任せれば大丈夫だよな。ああ。ああ。すいません。お見送りに来ました。あの、さっきは蹴っちゃってすいません。うん。そ、そうなんだ。いや、気にしないで。いい子だな。それとあのあの感動しました皆さんの心意気にえ来年の自分たちが不利になることわかっててもしまさんのご友人のためを思って行動できるところとかエースを書いても悪魔で上位を狙う姿勢スポーツに携わる同士として She's too kind. For real, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, 
町先輩のお友達さんだけあって皆さんすごい人ばっかりです You really didn't understand anything, did you? 今度先輩の昔のこと教えてください私先輩のこともっと知りたくてではお先に失礼しますいや、yeah, I know, I know. I was waiting for that reaction. <laughs> nice. Oh, la, hiya, go. Party, la, hajima, t o w a Um, listen. Sorry, sorry. I've got something to take care of first. I doubt I'd make it in time for your party. I was looking forward to it, especially the food. Oh, my God, my nose. But. Shit happens. Sorry, but it's for someone important. <laughs> Rena gave her a solid wink. That was all it took to get through to her. I can go alone, you know. They decided to head back to that state. Once they were gone, I pulled out my phone and dialed Dorio's number. It occurred to me that it was Christmas and he probably had plans off his own, but I wouldn't let him say no. I heard about the majors. We need to meet up and talk. Where works for you? Sounds good. That was all we had to say before hanging up. I had a lot to say, and it'd be better to work things out in person. What a hassle. I wanted to go to that party, too. What? We're not gonna know who Maria Bishop is? What a baby. お姉さまは本パーティー最大のホストです。客が一人減った程度で悲しんでる暇はありませんわよ。She's like, but he's the guest. もう分かってるわよ。They are the guest. オーロが一番喜んでくれるサプライズがあったのに。Interesting. 来ねえのか。I wonder how this is gonna plan out. ホッとしたような残念なような。どっちにしろ俺私の仕事は同じだけど<笑> Careful なんだよい,いえオーロも一緒に見てくれればソーマくんなのかどうかわかると思ったのに You really still don't No? What? まあいいわ今日は頑張りましょうあ,あんちょうどいいホワイトクリスマスみたいだぜ But the snow was really starting to come down We made it for the ultimate Christmas experience Not really the ideal time to engage in depressing conversations Oh? Later two people approached me He came too? クリスマスに人の恋人呼び出しといてその言い方はないでしょ Guess you've got me there We're headed somewhere warm. The students idling around campus earlier that afternoon had, eventually, dispersed, which made it the perfect place to have a private conversation. Wipe that gloomy smirk off your face. I didn't ask you to come here to lecture you or anything. Uh, unless you had plans today? It's Christmas, so I probably interrupted your six hour session to Pound Town, huh? Night! <laughs> No comment to this. Secure Tokaja Naked or on your more you can't seem by Kakataka Nakatakasa. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault you've got teammates who can't read the moon. So, about the mages, why'd you turn them down? Scatanaja or a Bakanaka ego taking a she. Ignari America Tsutamosa, or a Mukono Hitomo Nanka Gomana Kanjasa. Mm. 
Dorio ran it on and on with a, huh, with a flippant grin on his face. What was I going to do with him? Whenever you lie or try to downplay anything, you always lean forward and flare your nostrils like that. He almost got me. I appreciate that you put your effort in this lame sounding excuse, but it's pointless. Just tell it to me straight. What a waste of time. Torio gazed downward and looked like he was at a loss for words. The three of us fell silent and the only sound we could hear was the dull hum of the heater in the foyer. However, this tedious silence didn't last for very long. Yeah. The Japanese baseball system was a well-established enterprise. Students weren't able to choose their affiliated teams to ensure there was no fair advantage of any individual team. Even students were already commodities once they decided to play. Those who breached this agreement were punished. The major leagues were obviously interested in you, and you seemed willing to drop out and transfer overseas. It was a life-changing decision, and there shouldn't be any sort of law to stop him. <laughs> Dang, slave to the game, quite literally. プロ球界の人とこねつよいだろ。それで合わせてくれた偉い人たちがいてた。そんなことやると二度と日本には戻れない。What the freak? That sounds mad toxic, bro. Get out of there. That was just an empty threat. Dorio was the only guy on the team who had a chance of going pro anyway. But I got it. I get it, and you've got a point. We go to the majors, then it would put the Japanese baseball industry in hot water. Shut up, Chieka. Nobody asked. The Japanese baseball world is short on stars at the moment. What the sports world needed most weren't strong players, but celebrities. Subset of sport lovers preferred strong players, but the general population, those who weren't intimately familiar with sports, preferred celebrities instead. These star players were indispensable in perpetuating a wide yet shallow popularity. Baseball, the greatest sport industry in Japan, naturally knew this truth. Nowadays, when baseball's popularity was on the decline, it was imperative to find new stars. Antonio was the perfect fit for that role. His abilities and athletic achievements were flawless, and he had a handsome face to boot. Once he found his way out of his current slump, I bet slump slump I bet it would make for an excellent soft speech. On the other hand, that meant the industry's greatest adversary was America. It would definitely want to avoid having him scooped up by them. The dots were getting in your way, huh? Dorio looked away rather uncomfortably. This guy. Don't tell me they gave you a guarantee. That they let you go probably stayed in Japan. Bullseye. Yeah, I'm sure. That was probably why the coach got all flustered and tried forcing him into the stupid practice schedule in an effort to improve. He was guaranteed to go pro so as long as he actually so so showed some level of improvement regardless of the outcome of the tournament. Surely up and coming baseball players ought to be a little more pure than that. Don't apologize, man. でも、あと一つ、向こうには行きたくない一番の理由があって。ん日本にいれば、このまま<笑> To the extent it's unprecedented in times, in recent times. I've never heard of anyone being a combination pitcher and cleanup hitter in modern day professional baseball. Hmm. Batting専門ってこと? Something like that. Defense was important in sports, but he wouldn't be pitching. 
They were going to train him into a player that fully exerted himself in offensive measures instead, huh? It just sounded reasonable to me. He was more skilled than anyone I could think of, even as a batter. But... He had been an incredible pitcher for as long as I could remember. I thought you worked your way out of that. His tone faltered at the end, almost past it, meaning he wasn't through the thick of it yet. みんなのためってだけじゃないんだ。大丈夫だよ。監督もプロの人たちが見てるから、俺の腕が壊れるような練習はさせないさ。ああ、ガッダン。今はちょっと頭に血が上ってるけど、それも俺が悪いんだし。